Oh, welcome back everyone. Here we are in the wonderful little town of, well, state of Oridon, where we've just completed our first Golden Pursuits thing. I hit P to bring this, this one up. Group and Activity Finder. You can see Golden Pursuits. It's our current uh, event or activity. We need to go find a world boss, visit two player homes, or complete a, a group dungeon. Let me just have a have a look in the chats. Snapjaw and Soulflyer. Can I find him? No. All right. All right. So, well, why don't we have a look at our journal? So I have anchors from the harbour and the Sigix calling. Find the Augur of the Obscure. I'm just trying to think of where there are world bosses. We might have half a chance of defeating at our level. Uh, beginner levels, it's generally... Okay, I got that. All right. Generally hard to defeat any of them, and you'd want to luck out with. You know what? Let's go to. Um, I'm just trying to think of where where one might be. Well, I can guess, or I can go find. Let's go find American Alif and talk to a high elf. I think that's a companion quest, though. She's just started, hasn't she? Yeah. I know. Okay, Soulfly, Fire, Plateau, Seaside Scarp, Wreck of the Raptor, Heretic Summons, Nest Mother's Den, Inheritance Proving Ground. Alright, you know what, we're just going to have to run until we uncover one. Because I think this is like her first time anywhere, isn't it? She hasn't, she hasn't adventured in any other map. Oh no, we've been here. The wolf's camp, yep. Trapjaw's Cove. North Shore Point, Balefire Island and Seaview Point. Let's see if there's anyone beating up the wolves. It might be it might be something we can do. I'm not sure that they are really tough. So I know Rosalor has defeated the wolves. I know it's very tempted to go and undo that eyeball, but um just trying to find the gates. So one of the things with um having a character so scattered is I don't think I've um Going yeah. to play that fool orc alive. Uh oh. So the wolf scan. Yeah, he's just across the bridge. It looks like a bunch of us are waiting for him. So, because of this event, it looks like we're going to have a little bit of an easier time defeating world bosses. We just have to wait. It won't matter which world boss we run to. So 
So depending on how long ago these guys moved, <laughs> we are. And we use purify. At least I know I can do some difference with this. Wait, is that it? Nope, there's one more. There we are. That was our golden pursuit. You've earned a golden pursuit reward. Claim the reward. Alright. Thanks guys. Good game. Like I said, when, when these events are on, it's it's good to go on. So we get F to claim reward. Threat 2, the adventure ending arrow. <laughs> nice. Alrighty. Now how do we go and visit players' homes? Is there a way to do that? Minor adornments has been updated with the adventure ending arrow collectible. Go to the collection book. Oh my gosh. Minor adornments, appearance. Wow, okay. Let's go back into here. So we need to visit two player homes and, or, and complete a group dungeon. Normally I would say not at this level, but uh, that's a group dungeon, I think. Oh, that is a group dungeon. I can, I can go there. I've never done this dungeon, not with any of my characters that I recall. I wonder if maybe the spider clutch would have been a better one. <laughs> oh dear. Oh no. Okay. The Red Petal Bastion was not the first seat of power for the Knights of the Silver Rose, but it was built to be the last. Secured with all the defences of a king's treasury could buy, the Bastion ensures that the spoils of the Order's many anti-danger crusades remain safely in the Silver Rose's hands. Denied. Oh. Trespass no farther, or you will be met with force, heathen. I told you bargaining wouldn't work. It was a courtesy. They must face Azura's wrath now. I'm terrified, Waylon. I would not pass that threshold unless you seek bloodshed. Okay. The Knights of the Silver Rose declared their stronghold off limits to outsiders. And I can attest to their willingness to use violence to have their way. Did they attack you? They recently pillaged my temple without warning or provocation. Oh dear. Taking the relics in our keeping and striking down anyone who tried to stop them. This behavior is nothing like the Knights of the Silver Rose that I know. That's what brought you here? I hoped a word with the Knight Commander would prove that the attack was the work of some overzealous recruits. Fair enough. But he's refused to see me, or return the relics taken from my temple. I can offer more than blessings for their return. I'll help you retrieve your, well, your relics. You will make a wonderful addition to our cause. Oh, God. Lirinth is quite powerful, but I doubt we'd be able to recover the artifacts entirely on our own. Okay. Visit the wrath of Azura upon any of the Order who stand in the way of our holy work. Who are you? I am Waylon. Preacher of the Mother of the Rose. I live to profess Azura's love. She seeks to cradle and nurture all of our mortal souls. Mm -hmm. Those who rest upon her bosom know comfort like no other. Those who disturb that peace feel her thorns. How do you know Lirenth? She came seeking a relic in my care. One of the many stolen from my temple by the Knights of the Silver Rose. In exchange for her assistance returning the others to my possession, I will relinquish the relic she seeks to her. You're willing to trade one of your holy relics? Fortunately, what Lirinth desires is not sacred to Azura. But if that were the price of restoring my temple, it would be worth it. I'm afraid I have nothing similar to offer you, but I trust gold will make for adequate payment. Tell me more about the Knights of the Silver Rose. The Order was sworn to protect Tamriel from the corruption of wicked Daedra. 
This stronghold is where they lock away dangerous items confiscated from harmful cults. I never expected them to turn their swords upon my temple. What kind of relationship did you have with the Order before this? There were no official ties between my temple and their Order, but I believed we were on good terms. Some of their knights even saw the Mother of the Rose as a patron deity and made offerings on behalf of their Order. I don't know what changed. Do you know where the knights have taken your relics? I only know that the Knights of the Silver Rose have claimed many such items from Daedric cults in their time, and that they keep them secured in Red Petal Bastion. We'll need to explore to discover where they are keeping the spoils of my temple. Oh, goody. All right. Daedric has been updated with the Scorian Piling Collectible. Oh, pets. Aha. Okay, awarded by earning the Waking Flame Explorer achievement. Do I just have to visit it to get that? Seems a little easy. Let's have a look at achievements in journal. Enter either Red Petal Bastion or the Dread Cellar for the first time. Well, technically I haven't entered it, but okay. <laughs> I guess by, by clicking on it I entered it. I'm so dead. Okay, hang on a minute. Uh oh. I think last time I entered one of these at this kind of level I was in trouble. You picked the wrong fort to raid! I'm not raiding it! Honest! Okay, I am raiding it. Oh yeah, that quick. <laughs> let's let's I don't I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this um, public dungeon thing quest done. <laughs> Not solo anyway. Oh, not with this character. That is that is true. You know what though? What has Rosalor done? I know. So Rashimi, for the curious, we'll just, we'll just bring her out of the back into Glenumbra. Oh well let's go and play with this. Um, soul is mine. I own you. Come, let us play. I admire your tenacity, mortal. Look at this. So, I mean, isn't the other dungeon the spider? That's 
Goblin and Bramores. Oh no, Public Dungeon. Wait a minute. Is it Public Dungeon or Group Dungeon? Public Dungeons we can do. No, it's a Group Dungeon. Yeah, <laughs> Group Dungeons we're going to have trouble with. Uh, okay, Visit Player Homes. How do I do that? I don't know. I guess. Is it primary residence? I don't have permission. Okay. Yeah, so basic. Oh! Okay, now I've got permission to visit someone's residence. I guess that's how you do it then, you just right click on your friends and see if any of them have given their friends permission to enter their houses. We're going to enter and we're going to leave, really, because I feel very uncomfortable. Look at that. Alright, let's go. <laughs> just <laughs> excuse me, yeah. So if you're playing the game and you don't know anyone very well, this could be quite a difficult um, one to do, because it's not like you can visit the other characters. Thing. All right, so we go go back into into friends then, I guess. And most of them you won't have permission to visit if if they're just like people who've who've casually friended you on, along the way. Um. So maybe I can open up one of my residences so anyone can visit. I might do that. We'll see, we'll see how that works. I'll go to one of mine and we'll see if we can set up permissions so people who are having this kind of trouble can, can visit. Okay, that's nice. Let's leave. Because... Yeah, I know. We're intruding. <laughs> Where am I? Did I not leave? Oh, no, I did leave. We're in the inn. Oh, thank goodness, it's just an inn room. Was there a horse in that room? Okay. Well, Golden Pursuits. P. Golden Pursuits. We visited two player homes. Now we just have to complete one group dungeon. I guess Dungeon Finder. A uh, random normal dungeon. Complete a random normal dungeon or a random veteran dungeon will give you bonus rewards once a day. I've never done this before. But it is for a group. So I guess we could join the queue. Huh, okay. So I've been avoiding these. I, I've played 1623 hours. And I have never queued for a dungeon. Um, I've helped out guild members on occasion, but never actually done this. Okay, well, I don't know how this is going to work. So, I guess while we're queued, we go do stuff, right? A random normal dungeon or a random veteran dungeon will give you bonus rewards. Well, I'm not joining random. So, if we're looking for a dungeon for the group Golden Pursuits, I guess we just join in. I think I didn't have to choose a role. Oh, whoops. Damage, healer and tank. Okay, good. Well, I'm definitely not <laughs> definitely not a tank or a healer. So good. All right. All right, so under endeavors, we need to deconstruct some more items, which you know what is easy to do if we just craft them. We could try pickpocketing 10 items. I guess... I guess, where are we? Vivek. I'm not really familiar with this area, am I? No. Oh, what's that? Seeking a tenant? Come, do your trading here. All right, I'm going to grab Rose of Many Thorns, just, and we're going to abandon that quest until we're a little bit higher. And then I'm going to try and work out what to do next. I mean, do I have the ability to... 
I could scry stuff. Okay, well, what's my antiquarian insight like? No, world. It's a world skill. That's right. Research. Antiquarian inside is at one of five. Right. In order to level that up, I need to get eight points. And eight points, you can get a single point from... Let's go do that. Let's go level up some stuff. Um, I have no idea where I am. I just would like to go out. <laughs> please, please, can I have ends to the outs now? You know what? I know, I am so lost. I could follow the map. Ooh. Okay, we're going to have to follow the map because I want to unlock that. Alright, let's go this way. Wait, that was bad. I know, I'm a very lost little kitty cat, but there's my there's my unclaimed way shrine. So we could go around and unlock some way shrines, which we all know makes our life a lot easier. Um I might also check. Okay, 90 out of, so I've got enough space in my pack. Um consumables. I have some healing solutions. But I mean stopping to do that may get me killed. No, this is where I'm so not good at stuff. Alright, so I've got a whole bunch of recipes I can get out of my backpack. These I need to trade with someone. I don't know what to do with those. I have to wait till one of my friends are on and see if they're interested. Okay. Alright. I'm... Mm -mm. Oh, I, I think I know what that's about. I think that actually unlocks the um, the daily quests. So yeah, so one of the reasons I've been avoiding Dungeon Finder is it was just made like so much emphasis in one of my previous guilds was put on, um, you know, having mods to the game and that, that would let you see what the monsters were doing and time it. And um, I don't play with mods, so I never went into the dungeons. Um, so we'll see, it just seems to be a big thing with PC players, is they like you to have mods, and I don't. I mean, the game is challenging enough without them, and I I like it that way. I like to learn kind of what the what the game needs without having something do it for me. That's, that's not a playstyle a lot of guilds will tolerate. So, not in a guild either. Let us see what I can research because researching is a lot of fun. Looks like I've got a lot of things I need to research. About time we dealt with that, isn't it? Okay, and then I bet there's some stuff I can deconstruct. Well, let's get into that. We'll deconstruct everything that does not have a magnifying glass on it. That was pretty much everything else in my clothing. Alright, let's have a look and see what, we can, what else we can research. I've researched one thing already, let's see if it'll let me research something else. No, I have nothing else to research, let's destroy a few things then. Beautiful. Oh that was, hang on, that's our blacksmithing station isn't it? P, should be in P, Golden Pursuits, no no. Group and uh, endeavors, daily endeavors. I need to destroy five more things at a blacksmithing table. S table, not table, not stable. Let's create 
I use my cheapest material. Let's create ourselves five axes. Craft those up. I wonder if I can like make my weapons better before I go into this dungeon. Maybe. We'll go into deconstruction. Go into weapons. And we'll destroy all of those. Boom. That should be our daily endeavor. Yep, there it is. Popped up in the bottom right hand corner. What else do I have to I have to pickpocket things? Oh man, I am so not good at that. Don't want to end up in jail just before I enter a dungeon. That's not how we do it, is it? Woodworking station. Can I research? Yes, there's something. Let's research that. The bloodthorn. You know what? I think we're going to have to work out. Deconstruction. We'll just get rid of that. All right. Uh, the bank here is, yep, over there. I'll just go around the other side. Maybe that other window is a little less crowded. Not today. Peace of mind. That's not something. <laughs> we're going to deposit. Um. A recipes. Oh, I know my bank is full. Anything I have duplicates of, I'll still be able to deposit. That'll be fine. Uh, ditto with. I think I've pretty got some duplicate style mo motifs here that can go in. Yeah. We could get rid of some of these um, some of these things in here if we're going to spend a bit of time in one space. Thing is, is I'm not entirely sure I want to spend time in one space. Let's just go and grab our enchanting table, extract that. Our jewelry table, the copper dust, make that. Deconstruct that, and um, I'll research the bloodthorn necklace. For the arcane trait. So then I'll be able to craft things with the arcane trait there if I wish. I I really have to find some sketches. <laughs> Jewelry recipes. Um, all right. Now I need to find a trader and we'll see if I've got any bits and bobs. Nope. That I can sell them. Alchemist here we go. You will not believe how close this stand has gotten to blowing up. Perhaps <laughs> fools are soon parted from their gold, but I would rather they avoid my shop altogether. <laughs> what can I help you with today? Well, um, I, I'd like to sell you some carapaces, some ectoplasm, a little bit of a giant's lucky thumb. Uh, all right. Block and axe. Chopping. It's a furnishing. We're going to keep it. I'm going to sell this poison. I am very tempted to keep that. I never, whenever I try to use them, what happens is I tend to end up um, blowing myself up. Actually, you know what we could take out of the bank? It's probably not a bad idea. Uh, if I've got any spare, I, I should have some. Some more, what do you call House it? Halal, Seems the bank. I know, that was less than helpful. Crown items. Well, I could take some of those out too. This is what I, w I was thinking. We might withdraw a batch of crown restoration potions. Um, I'm going to save these for Tamrian, and then I'm going to, once I've used those for Tamrian, I'll move on to the next character with them. So we'll, we'll move our way through the character by order of... Wow, okay. Calm the farm. Alright. Let us go. Ooh. Um, sure. Let's, let's go with the dungeon, then. 
What have I got to do? Oh, that's the ready check. All right, so don't get involved in anything that's going to take up a lot of time, radio. I got gotcha. you. I've never done a dungeon before, so we'll uh, with with a random group, we'll find out what that's like. Oh, I have heard the communities are a little less forgiving here than other parts of the world, but you know what? Maybe maybe we'll be lucky and we'll get some nice people, and maybe we'll do a really good job and not let them down. I know. There's so many. Look at this. Um, yes, ready. My normal dungeon is ready. We're just waiting on the other DPS. Oh, spindle clutch one. Nice. See, and unlike me, the, the game is less likely to put me in a dungeon I'm not meant to be in. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what did I just do? Alright. Wait, who's that? We must press on. My fighters are exhausted. Oops, sorry. Alright, that must be my tank, right? Okay, I'm going to keep an eye out so he, he goes and gathers them all up. Okay. Oh, wanders into my world. More playthings. Let's just keep the um, the spiders off my off my friends. To me, my Um, I, I suppose there's a party chat I could be in. Where's Serana? That's my tank. Oh no. Oh my god. I've gotten this far solo with my, with my tank character.
I know, I'm trying to guess what I'm doing. And what are we doing? I know, I think one of the one of the tasks in, in something else I play with DPS is one of our jobs is to make sure our healer or all that um, anything on its own is not um, where they go. I've lost my group. Oh, there they are. Come to me, enter my web. Oh, is that we make sure we don't leave anyone, um, you know, unprotected or on their own and um, at the mercy of something, so yeah. I need aid! Okay, maybe I'm okay as a DPS, I'm not sure. Burn! Okay. I'm hurt. Let's drop this in. I'm gonna drop it in on this one. And then okay, they're okay. Activity complete. We did it.
was a nightmare. I feel so... Now that you've given me back my life, I have much to think about. Maybe I'll take some time to rest before I put together another expedition. What was that thing? A monster. No doubt some vile beast from the darkest reaches of oblivion. Uh-huh. I can't imagine how it got here. And I have no idea why it would do such things to our soldiers. Wow, okay. That's my that's my first ever dungeon. Ever. With any of my characters in sixteen hundred hours of playing. <laughs> I'm going to have to do that more often. That was a little bit scary, but not as scary as I thought it was. All right. 10 year anniversary Nord hero, a costume. There we go. You have claimed the capstone reward, golden pursuit reward claimed. F to view in collection. There it is there. The costume plays uh, a 10 year tribute to our legendary Nord hero of the Ebenhardt Pact. Honor this nameless warrior by adopting their ferocious appearance, updated with touches of gold and ivory for the occasion, acquired through purchase, promotion, or event. You'll find that in um, in the collectibles area, like under costumes, you've got the ones that you've achieved, and then if you go down here, you've got your not collected arena gladiator, and it will tell you how each how to get each one of these, whether it's a quest like this one or whether it's a promotion or event. That's pretty exciting, I have to say. Outfit styles, we picked up some new legs, didn't we? That was kind of fun to run that dungeon, actually. Crowborn Hunter Breaches, that was that one, okay. I, I can select an outfit. Ah, okay. Wait, I have a letter. What's that do? Oh, premium undaunted exploration surprise supplies. Well, um, this was for for completing the um, the dungeon. It's actually not part of the golden pursuits. It's actually part of going into the dungeon for the day. So another feather and the enormous feathery cap of the undaunted. Well fought, your exploits have earned you this reward and the resentful admiration of your peers. Lift a pint to their inferior valor. There's never been a better time to be undaunted. Marjal Ruggath, undaunted and four-time Rotmeth drinking champion at the outside inn. So what did we get ourselves? We got some soul gems, a necklace of endurance, cassiterite, transmutation geode can be shattered into 10 transmutation crystals and this pulverized debellium all right so i guess we take the attachments wow cool maybe i'll start doing one of those dungeons a day until i'm used to it in the meantime let us level rishimi to level 40. um three attribute points three skill points we have unlocked spindle clutch two in dungeon finder Oh, right, maybe I need to unlock these things as well. Uh, um, we'll get there. All right, attributes. Did we run short of Magicka again? I think we did. All right, I might just put some more Magicka in there. That seems to be my main my main go-to. So it looks like uh, she's a DPS, so that's okay, I guess. Uh, we'll commit some points. Get ourselves committed. Now, we have four points because we did earn one from um, Spindle Clutch like for the first time completion so you'll earn a, a, a skill point from that as well i've got to do a few more then all right soul magic oh right allows you to revive once every two hours without spending a soul gem when a soul ability is slotted when your health drops below 20 percent and soul lock five percent chance so i want to actually fill that one up definitely and actually i'll fill it up again because now i have a 10 percent chance of automatically filling a soul shard in our class skills, in uh, here, let me have a look. Actually, racial skills, I hope we've unlocked Lunar Blessings. Increase your maximum health, magic, and stamina by 659. Let's do that. There we go. So, that was the very first Golden Pursuits 
um, activity uh, being unlocked for the 10th anniversary of Elder Scrolls Online. The theme was for Nords and we've actually um, finished it. So you'll probably see me take part in those those events as a normal part of play with uh, Tamrian and some of the others now that I kind of know how to do it. Uh, what did we say? We needed to increase something to 9, didn't we? It was our metalworking or our clothing. Yep. Let's have a look at um, weapon. I've been using my destruction staff a lot, so I think what I'll do is I might start unlo unlocking some of that trifocus. Well, uh, that deals deals additional flame damage or, or ice damage, depending what you've got. So let's um let's unlock that, and we might start looking at some of the our weapon skills. Again, this is because most of my focus with this game so far has been on story. Um, I haven't really gotten into what the combat skills are and what they can do, so we really need to probably look at that. Now, if I want to apply this, I need to unlock it. Uh, skill Stylist Force Shock Achievement and Ink Accumulator Achievement. So these these are um, specific achievements to unlock effects that we can add. Completing the Pen is Mightier Than the Sword Achievement and this one. Purchase this skill to be assigned a new style, which is locked and I need to complete the quest, Fate of the Forgotten Prince. So these are the new um, skill styles. I'm actually really looking forward to having a look at those. But guys, I think on that note, I am going to bid you adieu. If you enjoyed exploring the Golden Pursuit with me and discovering, uh, maybe some of you are much more familiar than I am, uh, discovering some of the activities and how you can go about um, doing those activities when you have never done them before i hope you've enjoyed learned something or just had fun watching me blunder about but uh if you liked it hit like if you want to see more hit subscribe if you want to see me explore something in particular maybe not necessarily with rashimi but with one of my other characters please let me know in the comments and i'm going to bid you adieu take care out there